Welcome back to another Crafty Workshop Builds video. Today, I'm going to be talking about some common engine misfire problems on the R56 Mini Cooper, so stay tuned. In order for the engine to fire the cylinders correctly, it relies on these three main components, fuel, spark and oxygen. It needs fuel to burn, oxygen to facilitate the burn reaction, and spark to initiate the fire. If there's an issue with any of these elements, that will cause the engine to not run properly. Here are some symptoms that you can expect from a misfire. Rough idling, sluggish acceleration, smoke from the exhaust, or a check engine light. Depending on the type of misfire, you might get a check engine light code that points directly to the cylinder that's misfiring, or you could get a random misfire code. Here are three common types of misfire on the R56 Mini Cooper. Spark misfire usually happens when there's a problem with the spark plugs or coil packs. This is typically the easiest misfire to diagnose due to the fact that it usually throws a check engine code and the spark plugs and coil packs are easy to access. This is what a bad coil pack looks like and this is what a good coil pack looks like. There's no physical difference between the two. An easy way to see which is bad is to switch them around the cylinders and see if the engine reacts to the change. You may prevent this issue by replacing your spark plugs at the appropriate interval before they go bad. You can also keep a spare coil pack on hand just in case one fails. On the R56, the fuel system can also be a culprit of engine misfires. It is not uncommon to have a clogged injector, a clogged fuel filter, or a faulty high pressure fuel pump, all of which will cause the engine to not run smooth. To address these issues, you can start by replacing the fuel filter, which is located under the rear seat. Then you can check and test to make sure the injectors are firing correctly. Then check to make sure the high pressure fuel pump is pumping enough PSI. A mechanical misfire is caused by a mechanical failure of a part. The common mechanical misfire in the R56 is usually caused by a cracked exhaust valve or a cracked piston. To diagnose this problem, you can use a compression tester and test to make sure the PSI across all four cylinders are similar. I had a mechanical misfire on my R56. When I did the compression test on the cylinders, this was the results. As you can see, cylinder number 3 is significantly lower than the rest. I removed the engine head and found this cracked exhaust valve in cylinder number 3. The crack on the valve prevent the valve from making a proper seal, which caused the cylinder to not hold the correct pressure. This type of mechanical failure did not throw any check engine code. I replaced all the exhaust valves, valve stems and all the other necessary components and the car has been running good ever since. This is one of the reasons why I installed the med kit on this car. The meth will help to keep the combustion chamber temps down and prevent detonation, which will reduce the chance of having another cracked exhaust valve. Let me know in the comment section below if you've ever experienced any engine misfire problems on your R56 Mini Cooper. And thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.